What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, back with some more boxing. Trying to get all these predictions knocked out. We have boxing up the wazoo. A lot of great fights. And not only are they great fights, they're interesting matchups. Like, I'm finding a difficult time trying to think of my prediction, um, determine who the winner is going to be, because I see so many different outcomes. So, the gun's to my head. I got to get these predictions out. And uh, I want to do the Zab Judah versus Pauli Malignaggi. Another interesting, great fight. Really a crossroads fight for both fighters. Both fighters are kind of nearing the end of their rope. They've really failed at their biggest chances on the biggest stages. Pauli Malignaggi had a belt. It was short-lived. He had a suspect performance against Pablo Cesar Cano. Um, I thought Cano won by a round or two. Even though Kano did have a really like slow start in that particular fight, but he did enough, and he had a knockdown later in the fight. To me, where I think he should have beat Polly, and technically Polly shouldn't have had that belt to even um, defend it against Broner. But he lost the Broner fight. Um, he's lost to Kodo, lost to Mirkan, lost to Hatton. Um, not saying he's a bad fighter, but he's lost his biggest opportunities. I would say. Um, same thing with Zab Judah. Zab Judah lost to Mayweather. He lost to Carlos Baldomir, which he damn sure should have beat. Lost to Costa Zoo. Lost to Corey Spinks. Later avenged that. Um, these guys have had an up and down career. I think, well, I guess one of Zab Judah's biggest wins was a early Lucas Matisse, and and that's highly disputed. A lot of people think Lucas won that fight. So um, he does have some wins, like the Corey Spinks rematch. Um, but really, again, it's a crossroads fight for both fighters. Both fighters are, are getting in their mid thirties and in boxing, after you've been through the amount of fights that these guys have been through, that's old. You know what I mean? These fighters have been through wars. These fighters have been through tough fights, grueling fights, training camp after training camp, and it takes its toll on his body. So it's kind of like a make or break fight for both fighters. This is a hard prediction to make because every time I've picked Zab Judah in the past, like, yeah, Zab's for sure going to beat this dude. And then some weird shit happens and he loses. And I'm like, what the fuck? Um, a lot of people have this. Um, well, Zab has this black cloud. And a lot of people have this idea that Zab Judah is a four-round fighter. Angel Garcia kind of got under Zab's skin in the Danny Garcia buildup by saying that. But in his past performances, it's kind of hard to defend um, what Angel Garcia was saying and, and dispute it because Zab Judah has shown that he's better. One thing I did like in his last fight with Danny Garcia, he actually dominated the championship rounds against a fighter who's much younger and um, is a strong fighter himself in, in Danny Garcia. And I think he captured the, the championship rounds in a fight where he was really getting bested early and he suffered the knockdown and he was visibly hurt. So I like how Zab stayed focused, stayed composed, um, and held on tight for Brooklyn. And I think this is that's pretty much what catapulted him into another large payday, like a Pauli Malignaggi fight. Um, I'm going to pick Zab in this fight. Um, tough fight, real tough fight for me to call. Like I said, I've picked Zab in the past and been wrong. I'm like, oh, Zab will beat this X, Y, and Z. And then he lost. I'm like, fuck. Lost bets to Zab. Um, just really based on the athleticism, the power, if you look at both fighters, um, last performance, you're only good, as good as your last performances. Pauli Malignaggi started off strong with Broner, young kid. Um, Broner really wasn't even doing much early on in the fight. He was being very conservative, like he was trying to showcase his defense or prove he was Mayweather. So he didn't really let his hands go in that time. Pauli was just, meanwhile, Pauli was punching, punching, had a high work rate, Pauly has an excellent jab that he uses, um, but he seemed to fade later in the fight, and that's where Adrian Broder kind of came on in the mid to late rounds. So both fighters have potential stamina issues, um, but recently Zab Judah showed in his last fight that he can actually carry his power into the championship rounds and um, actually hurt his young opponent, which was Danny Garcia. So just really for the athleticism and the, the power advantage, as you guys know, Paulie's not a big puncher. Um, Zab Judah is a much bigger puncher. Very fast, very athletic. Both guys are fast, quick feet, quick hands. Um, but I think Zab just 
a little more athletically inclined. He has more power. Um, he looked better against his young his young opponent in his last fight in the championship rounds, which is going to come into play. And I think he can steal some of those rounds. Zab Judah, by his own admission, was beating people and um, doing whatever he did early in his career. But he said he was partying a lot, not really 100% focused. He's matured. He's he's evolved since then. And um, he's looking to bring the old Zab Judah back, as he says. So I'm going to take his word for the last time. If he lets me down, then I'm just officially through with Zab Judah and picking him for predictions. Um, I'll pick him to win via unanimous decision. I'm not going to say he's going to knock Pauly Malignaggi out because Pauly's been in there with Ricky Hatton when he was undefeated. He's been in there with Miguel Cotto and Amir Khan. And he he's hard to knock out. He has a chin. You know, he might get TKO, but I don't recall where he got knocked out cold. So the dude has a chin. Um, it's really going to be up to how Zab chooses to perform. He's going to have to come out with a game plan and just really flex his advantages like his speed, his athleticism. He has great movement, great power. Um, just kind of be the Zab Judah of, of old and remain that for the entire fight. And I think he'll um, skate to a unanimous decision, maybe even a split decision. But I'm going to pick uh, Zab Judah via unanimous decision. Like I said, I'm not going to sell Pauly Short. He knows how to stay out of trouble. He has a chin. Um, Pauly Malignaggi definitely can make it inter interesting. I really don't see this being a shutout for either guy. Um, I would be very shocked if it's um, like a Manny Pacquiao, Brandon Rios type fight where it's a shutout and either guy pitches a shutout to the point where um, the other person doesn't win any rounds or there's no close moments or anything like that. I'll be really shocked if, if that's the case. I don't see either fighter pitching a shutout. It's going to be really a battle of attrition, battle of wills, who wants it more. Both fighters from New York, both fighters from Brooklyn. Um, they're going to have the crowd. I don't know. The crowd's probably going to be a mixed bag. So neither one of them really has a hometown advantage since they're both from Brooklyn. Um, I just see Zab Judah. Another thing is Zab Judah, to my knowledge, he, he really doesn't do anything outside of boxing. Um... I can't say he doesn't do anything outside of boxing, but his job is boxing, whereas Polly still has the Showtime commentary job. So I don't know how hungry Polly is. I mean, he says it himself he's a prize fighter, and if the money's right, every time I see Polly in recent interviews, he, he's basically saying if the money's right, and, oh, I fight for a paycheck, and I don't really know how hungry he is because he knows at the end of the day, win or lose, it's not like he's going to get fired from his Showtime gig. So um, that's another advantage, I think, for Zab Judah because Zab Judah should know that this is this is it, like the Michael Jackson movie. If he doesn't win this and win impressively, then, um, I mean, good luck trying to ever get a title shot again or big main events on um, Showtime or anything like that. Paulie, on the other hand, can definitely bounce back. He he does the, the commentary. Um and has a little bit different avenues he can explore outside of being a fighter. Zab Judah really has to be a fighter, at least in this point, to my knowledge. So going with Zab Judah via unanimous decision should be a good fight. Don't think it'll be a shutout for either fighter. Um, could be wrong, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Hey.